And in the process, you're keeping yourself and your options open for 2021. Because you think about it. Let's let's just dream, okay? You left yourself open. Giannis does get pissed. They stop making beer in Milwaukee, so he leaves. And he comes to Miami, and we've got a lot of IPAs all over the place, so he's really happy. So all of a sudden, you've got Giannis. You've got Jimmy Butler. You've got Bam Adebayo. You've got Tyler Hero. You've got Duncan Robinson. you got maybe even an improved Carlos Silva at that time. You've got Kendrick Nunn. You know, it's team would look really damn good at this point. You know what I'm saying? So it, I, I, you know, you gotta like that scenario for the Miami Heat because you had Giannis, and all of you know, if you had Giannis in two years, Butler becomes your third best player because Bam would have surpassed him by then, and Tyler will be your better offensive option over Butler two years from now. And Butler can kind of just handle the leadership role, you know, play some defense, kind of settle in a little bit more as the veteran leader, UD-like guy. Because, hey, two years from now, come on, man, he's 33. The the skills have to decline because, you know, that's just the way it is. All of our skills decline as we get older. You know what I'm saying? But just the dream of keeping that position open. And here's the thing. Bam's continued improvement. I mean, I don't know if you caught. I'm not really talking too much about the stupid all-star game. I'm, I, 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 hey, I'm pretty fair about this. I don't care about football all-star, and I don't talk about it. I don't care about basketball. I don't care about hockey. Baseball's the only one that I like, and it's even to a lesser extent nowadays because of the way they play baseball. But outside of that, I'm pretty consistent. But it was pretty cool about Giannis when – did you hear him when he selected Bam? He said, I got to pick somebody that's going to play hard like me because I play hard all the time. I'm going to pick Bam out of bio. And that's – you know, uh, the Jet was like, wow, that's respect. And that's what Bam has earned in this league already. So think about it. One more year next year under his belt, and then you go into 2021 – He's a top all-star now. Now's Giannis looking at it going, hey, this guy's a badass. I want to play with that guy. That guy's a badass. That's why I picked him on my all-star team two years ago. He probably will pick him next year too because he'll probably be the guy doing it again. So that bond, you know, this is what – here's what I would say to Bam Adebayo when he gets to the all-star game. Yo, my brother, let's go. Work it. Buy him every meal. Hang out with him. Become real good friends with Giannis. You know, hey, Miami's awesome, dude. We got beaches. You don't have them in Milwaukee. We got the IPAs. You don't need that beer there. We got South Beach. We got it all down here. Come on, Giannis. Come on, baby. You can hang out with David Beckham. You know, you're you're probably a soccer guy. We're going to have the most international team in the MLS in town. Milwaukee doesn't have a soccer team. Come on down, Giannis. You already got the script for Bam set up and ready to go. I'm ready to go. I want to assist Bam on this. I mean, you know how agents prep their players for the draft? Okay, this is what they're going to ask you. This, these are the, these are the drills you're going to run. So this is what you're going to practice. So they're, they're like robots. By the time the teams get to the combine. And they have, they have been programmed exactly what to say. And NFL teams are so frustrated that they're trying to break through the robot, right? We need to do that to, to, to uh, Bam. We need to program his ass that when he gets to the All-Star game, he's ready to roll. He's got it all. Okay? I mean, we're talking uh, limos. We're talking everything. Like, yo, Giannis, don't worry. I got, I got you covered, bro. And there's a limo waiting for you outside. To go anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Everything has got to be set. Full court press like uh, going and approaching the NFL to get the Super Bowl. A full court press of promotion of Miami. Bam. Okay. Andy Ellisberg, Pat Riley, 
This has no cap implications. Send Bam out of bio with a Greek chef to the All-Star game. All right? Make them gyros. Make them whatever. Make them happy. That's it. I want to read stories about Bam Adebayo bonding with Giannis Antetokounmpo. All right? Bam and the freak. Freak and the Bam. Whatever. All right? I love this. This is what we got to do. Are you with me out there? We got to set them up. That way we can, you know, it's, it's, it, you got to throw the chum in the water, the bait, and reel them in. Got to reel that big freak in. Not a fish, but a freak. I mean, think about it. They don't even know up there. You know, they can actually play a little corn. Freak on a leash. Freak in Miami. We'll bring in corn to perform the song but it won't be called freak on a leash we'll call it freak in miami what do you think corn changing kind of lyrics freak in miami if it would get that guy here at the 305 hey, i don't care what we got to do yeah let's do it wow let's do it did you see some of the moves he made last night i know he made That's, Embiid look oh silly. Like he wasn't moving. He was like a brick. When he there. came at him and did that spin move yeah. and just laid it up, it was like. Uh, and I love John Anderson because he goes, "Well, you know, he can do that. He can lay it up eight feet away from the basket because he's that long, you know." And he's uh, he's he, John Anderson does a really good job with the highlights. He's one of those guys that's got the funny liners while he's doing it. So he entertains you, makes you smile while you're watching some great highlights. The only thing I, I think Bam's going to have to get a wedge in there because, you know, his buddy Middleton is there yes. at the All-Star game with him. Uh, and he's got to kind of, you know, wedge it. You know what I'm saying? Wedge it. Yes. I got you. I got you. I got you. I love your plan of attack, though. I'm hey. all, that's, you know what? This, the, the, our big three hooked up in the Olympics, hanging out and blah, and this is a perfect opportunity to lay the groundwork to pull that guy to the 305. That's it's right. Ideal. And, and remember, Butler's there too. Butler yes. and Bam are on Greek's team. Double team them. So this has to be like a Malachi crunch of, you know, recruiting. Has to go on here in the All-Star game. This is the full court press of making sure that you get Giannis Antetokounmpo to sign with the Miami Heat in 2020. I got it. One bumps Middleton out of the way. The other one gets his ear. Yes. There you go. I like it. I like it. I mean, that's that's what you've got to do. It's the only way. And you got to prep. And, and who knows? You might have two opportunities because you, you prime them this year. And then next year, we all know that, of course, none. I mean, I'm saying uh, Bam and, and Jimmy will make the All-Star game again, right? Hopefully, we'll sneak in, you know, like Nunn or or uh, Robinson. Now, remember, Robinson's there for the three-point contest. So, he can come by and say, hey, Giannis, have you met our hot three-point shooter? You know, this, this is a guy you want to pass to down in Miami. And, and so, there you go. And then Kendrick Nunn is in the Futures game. So, he comes by, hey, Giannis, I want you to meet this kid. There's another guy you're going to pass to in Miami. Jones Jr., we could Dunk do a contest. quad quad attack on him at the All Star game. That's it. We got the quad attack. We got a freak and a dunk. There you go, Giannis. This is the guy you're going to be throwing alley oops to. You know, it's just all these kind of things, all over, coming at all angles at, at the freak. That's what we got to do, man. And then Giannis is like, "Wow, I don't have that many teammates here. Damn." We you walk, know, we walk away with the slam dunk contest, win the three-point. That's it. And just hammer him all weekend with those four and guys. Bam wins MVP of the All-Star game. That's it. It's going to happen. And Freak will go, well, wait a minute. I, I think I got to go to Miami. I think I got to go to Miami. Be interesting. The All-Star game should be all about planting these seeds, man. Yeah, should be. It definitely should be. And that's where that's that's the plan, Stan. So bam, pressure is on you. You must bring us the prize. Jimmy Butler, 
Pressure's on you, my man. That's why they brought you here. So you could try to lure somebody else. Well, there you go. It's time to lure the freak. And All-Star Weekend is the first opportunity you get to put that, uh, that love on display for the freak.